So I had a pretty big garage sale haul. I don't have any footage from the sales, but I do have everything sitting right here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. I spent $128.75. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with this tote of items. And these items, besides this mug here, came from a sale and the lady said that she sells on eBay and she has a booth. So I'm not expecting to find any huge bolos, but I think I found some good bread and butter. I haven't looked up this doll yet. She's really cool. She's Sleeping Beauty. Um, at the booth, she had six on it. I wanna say I paid three for it. And it's got the original box. It's super cute. I, I figured it's, it, it says Disney Store and it looks like it's vintage. So I can't see why it wouldn't do well. I found these right before I was leaving and they look to be like somebody hand made them and stuck them in this little frame, but they're really, really cute. I paid $1.25 for the set. I think they'll do well. Um, these little guys are, I believe, made in Japan. And I love made in Japan. I tell you guys that all the time. They're felt. And I have two of them. And they're super, super cute. Again, everything is tagged. And these items were sitting in her booth and did not sell. So I paid a dollar each for those. So I definitely think I can make some money on those. This puppet, um, I'm not sure. It says, I'll show you what the tag says. Again, she did a lot of the research for me, you know, which will make it nice. I don't know, here's another puppet. I got the two puppets for $4. This donkey was uh, made in Japan. I think it's Filson and it is numbered. So I don't know, I just thought he was cute. It does say Niagara Falls, New York. I don't know, it may be a want want, we'll have to see. I didn't look him up. He had a $3 tag, but she was discounting stuff. This little train was 50 cents, it's 10, I just thought it was cute. It says 1950s Japan train, but it doesn't seem like it's that old. It's in really great condition. So that one might do okay. This old wrinkled puppy. I think he's called Wrinkles. Um, oh, he might be a puppet too. Oh, he is. He's a puppet. And he was $2 and Wrinkles dog puppet. So pretty cool. I like him. I think he'll do well. Let's see what else we got in here. We got this creepy little doll whose eyes don't seem to open and her face is like scary white but it's in the original box. These were 50 cents each, but it tells me what it is. So I'm just gonna look that up. I found an Anna Lee. You guys know I love Anna Lee. I love selling Anna Lee. I don't collect it or anything. This had $3 on it. I hope I didn't pay $3 for it, but who knows. At the, um, one point I just started throwing things in the tote and told her to give me a price. Again, this had the original box. I'll probably look this up, see if I can find her. Um, 50 cents for that. I believe this one was 50 cents also. Um, it's vintage. I just thought it was really cute. And again, I think she had this for $18 in her booth, had it $5 at the garage sale, but it was in a 50 cent tote. So I got it for 50 cents and it may or may not be worth anything. I was, some of this, I just grabbed. These are some old pens. My husband likes stuff like that. So I'm going to let him look at that. Um, again, this had the original tag, so I figured I could look it up. Her nose has got a little chip, but it was 50 cents. Uh, a little Boyd's Bear. If I can find Boyd's Bears cheap, um, with the tags, I hope I didn't pay $5.99. Um, I think that was in the 50 cent tote too. I think this is a Madam Alexander, uh, I don't know, is that a fox? And I think it was 50 cents. This one, I don't know what it's made of, but um, it's pretty interesting and it's got this on the back. So I figured it'd be easy to look up. It was 50 cents also. I think this is like a little thimble. 
It's Garfield, and it's got um, the sticker on the inside so I can look it up. This was a little tea set that I just thought was cute, made in Japan. Um, it's got the other little pieces here. I just, like I said, I like made in Japan. So hopefully I don't break it. These um, I thought were cute. I think they're pewter. I don't know what it says, but they were cheap enough that I was just, I, I took a chance. There's another one somewhere too. These are cute. They're little um, Peter Rabbit gift bags and they are from 1987 and there are three of them and they have the little plush in them. So I thought they were cute. I say saying that a lot. These come in the little boxes and most of these items were like 50 cents. Um, here, I think this is a vintage little strawberry shortcake. And as this one is too, I don't know what this is, but this baby is vintage and it winds up. I think all of these items were 50 cents or 25 cents. Can't remember. This is like a little book. I thought it was adorable. It's like little red riding hood and you flip the pages. I don't know. I figured it might sell. This little girl, I don't know who she is, but it said original clothes on the tag. Uh, this one. So I don't know much about dolls, but again, they were like 50 cents each. So I figured I would take a chance. Billy the Kid, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to open it and see. I don't know if it's like a little wallet or what. And then this had the dolls and then some clothes. And I have no idea, but I grabbed it. I think it was 50 cents also. So those are some of the items that came from that sale. I picked up this mug at another sale for 50 cents. It's Disney Parks. I always pick up Disney Parks. It does say dad. I thought that actually might sell it. If I get it listed soon, it might be a good Father's Day item. So we're going to keep going here. In the same sale with the lady that sells stuff in a booth and on eBay, I got this Ronkin Vok. And unfortunately it does not have the charger, but it does have this. It has one remote and it has this, um, I don't know if it's like a train type deal, but I have sold Ronk Ronkin Bok before. It is definitely a Bolo. Um, I got this for $3, but again, no charger. So that might hurt what I get for it. This was in the 25 cent box. It is a um, Boyd's reindeer, Rudolph. So 25 cents, I was like, yes, please. This was in the 25 cent thing also, a little plush. It says snow cap. It's Hallmark. Um, it's from 2002. So maybe somebody collects these, but I figured for a quarter, I would figure it out. And this little, I think it's a photo album. It was a dollar and it's Peter Rabbit. So uh, it's 1990. I thought it was adorable and it was a buck. So I think I can sell that. And then I do pretty good with the Barbies that are boxed. And I think I got her for $2. I haven't looked her up. She's a pink box. So pink box is hit and miss. But um, for two bucks, I was willing to, uh, to take a chance, so. So I had a little bit of footage of where I came upon the American Girl stuff. Um, I got all of the American Girl stuff for $15. This is some sort of stand. I have to look into that. I'm not really certain exactly what that is. Um, American Girl shoes. They did have some stuff that was an American Girl, but they had it in a separate area. So I believe all of these items are going to be marked American Girl. And I have to go through them. But I paid $15 for this whole bag. So this is American Girl. It spins like that. Oh, there's a little doll. Now that I don't think is American Girl. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Maybe it is. There's like a little book. I mean, there's all kinds of goodies. And I I didn't look through the bag. She said it was American Girl. So I just, uh, like you can see inside there, there's a tag. Sorry, there's neighbors out playing. So I'm getting a little bit of sound. I'm outside. I don't know what this is, but look, it's so cute. 
bitty O's. So these are bitty baby. And Bitty Baby, most of that stuff I believe is vintage and I've sold Bitty Baby before. I actually have a video on some Bitty Baby items that I scored big time on. So this is in the package still. Retails for $8. Um, dog dish. I bet that's Bitty Baby, yep, a rattle. Oh, another doll. Maybe these are American Girl. I don't know. I, I really don't know the value of all of these things. Um, here's a little, this might be Bitty Baby. I think it might be. So that'll probably do pretty well. Like I said, I've sold Bitty Baby clothes before and I know that they do really well. Um, so there's like little cups. Here's a cat, an American Eagle, not American Eagle. Aha, American Girl cat more clothes. So I will look all these up. Uh, this I think is a, a maybe a llama, but uh, Donatella Bodolino told me that llamas are in. They are like the in thing. So this is an American girl. I think it's a llama. If it's not a llama, well, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. So here's American girl clothes and you can see Actually, yep, American Girl, and it says 2012. So these are not super old. Uh, there's an American Girl helmet. Some more clothes. Here's one of those um, chairs, and you hook it like up to your counter, and there's two of those in there. And got some food. I'm going to dump the bag out because I feel like it's taking me too long. Uh, paper doll, fashion doll. So I can scan that barcode. Dumped everything out. So this is some sort of like couch or something. Uh, another one of these chairs. Um, I don't, some sort of bag and it's got this little American girl. Is that a bunny? Uh, so some more of the paper dolls. This looks like a, some sort of fox or something. I don't know what it is. Another dog, more clothes. So I would say I did pretty good for $15. I really can't give you an exact, like what I'm going to make. This is Bitty Baby. I'm guessing these are Bitty Baby. So definitely a pretty large lot of American Girl items. So it should be interesting to go through and look all of these up. And from the same sale, I bought a bunch of, oh, uh, what's it called? Build-A-Bear items. So we're gonna get into that bag next. Okay, so here is everything that came out of the Build-A-Bear bag. I've got, I don't know if that's, yeah, it is Build-A-Bear. Huh, I didn't think it was. Uh, looks like some Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear panties. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's a Build-A-Bear sleeping bag. Got some, some Build-A-Bear Skechers. How funny is that? Uh, some little flip-flops. So hopefully all the pairs are here. This is a Build-A-Bear brush. A Build-A-Bear cell phone. Uh, this is, I have no idea what that is. This is like a, a Build-A-Bear bed. That's pretty big. So again, I got all of the Build-A-Bear items, a Build-A-Bear glove for $15. So there's a bunch of clothes. Looks like the little like moccasin type thing. A Build-A-Bear, um, wow, a skateboard. How cool is that? I don't know if there's anything in this. I didn't look over stuff very good. I just kind of uh, negotiated a price and that was it. That's a mini pup Build-A-Bear. So some clothes. This is some sort of like carrying case. Looks like there's two of those. This one, I think they're the same size. So I don't really know too much about those. Uh, more clothes. Oh my gosh, Build-A-Bear Crocs. How funny is that? Uh, and again, I'm hoping that all of the matches will be here. A Build-A-Bear, is that Build-A-Bear? 
I don't, I don't know. That might not be a build a pair helmet. So yeah, lots of, lots of goodies. So again, hopefully all the matches to the shoes are going to be here. If not, I paid $15. There's the other crop for all of it. So I should be fine. There's a, maybe a Build-A-Bear uh, saddle or something. I can't tell if that says, yeah, Build-A-Bear. So yeah, lots of goodies. Lots of goodies to research. Should be fun. All right, you guys, we're moving on to the next bag of stuff that I got. Okay, this was from another garage sale. It's just a little Eddie Bauer cling shade. I thought maybe it'd do good on um, uh, blah, 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 Poshmark. Couldn't think of it. I got this uh, first Easter. I do pretty good with these little monkeys. This, however, has some stuff on it. It may have just fallen onto the ground. So I'm going to throw that in the washing machine. Uh, I've got this one that says baby's first Christmas. And look what I got. Whee! Guess who that's going to? Hopefully she doesn't watch this video. Um, picked up these little characters, Paw Patrol. Like I said, I pick them up when I see them. And these little elf on the shelf slippers. So, and I think I have a little more to show you. Okay, I got this awesome guess. Um, jacket and this tag was right here and it looks like they may have put the sticker on and then wrote the price on it and it went through so super bummed about that i don't know if i'll be able to get it out or not it's a down guest jacket i don't know if it's a vintage not super vintage but an older style or not so hopefully i can get that out that's a big bummer i got this at um another garage sale and I paid $2.50 for it. It retails for $98.50. Just a Ralph Lauren shirt. This is a London Fog, uh, kids size seven, and it has the original tag of $96 on it, and it was uh, $2.50. They gave both this shirt and the, the coat for, they did both for five, so that was nice of them. And so I got those. Uh, from the sale with the red jacket, I got this hat and she did take $5 off the total. So, uh, the prices may not be what is shown, but, um, this is a Ralph Lauren and this is a John Deere. I plan to sell both of those. I may keep this one just because I like hats like this. I don't know. Um, headwear fur. I don't know what that is. I got this cute little hat for me. Hopefully we'll see how it fits. I got this American or not American Eagle Under Armour camo hat. And again, she took like five bucks off of everything I bought from her. I got this fun little sequin. Um, I think it flips. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it flips to white. I'm going to keep that. I thought these would be fun to wear in my bolo videos that I do since I'm wearing hats. This one's Steve Madden. It, it's got the original tags on it, so definitely cute. And who knows, maybe I'll change my mind and sell it. This, um, these boots are cute. I got them for four bucks. It has the receipt from TJ Maxx. I want to see what it's dated because I could probably, oh, it's from 2017. I was like, maybe I could take them back and, you know, get my uh, money back just, you know, as a return and make more money. But I think I can sell them. They're super cute. So they're brand new. They kind of have that Western look. These are Clark's and they are a size 11. So that's why I picked them up. They're the wedge style. They're, they look to be never worn. So, um, sorry, I'm digging down in the bag here. I got these and it's BOC um again never worn they have the tj maxx tag on them and i think they were 24.99 at tj maxx but these are a size um 10. so i thought those were cute i'll just show you what i'm grabbing here yeah so they were 24.99 at tj maxx i got these michael kors 
and again don't look to be ever worn and they are a bigger size so that's always a plus i don't know if these are a 10 or 11. and then these are free people size 39 whatever that is i'm guessing they're a 10 or 11. again they've got the original uh that hasn't been taken off so they're pretty much new and i'm pretty sure those are leather and these are just the matches. I got these three prints. This one's coming out, but that gives me a thing to see right here. It says printed in the USA. I may take them out of the frames and just sell the, the prints. They're super, super cute. Um, I asked her how old they were. She said she's had them about 20 years. So I got all three of those for $5. I got... This little, um, uh, it's like a Precious Moments, I think, little plate. And it's from 1994, so it'll probably be a bread and butter item. And here's another one, it's an ornament and another one. And she bundled for me, so I did not pay that price. This was in the free pox. I always pick up like little things like this that I can, uh, resell in lots when they're in the free box people don't care they just want to get rid of us i don't know if this is an lps or not i think they are little pet shop not 100 percent sure um this is kind of pretty i don't know i just it was in the case it's got like an angel on it and when it comes in a pretty case and it has some sort of like i don't know it's got writing on it, so it tells us a little bit about it. So I'll have to look that up. I don't know if it's good or not. But again, these items were all bundled together. Uh, these are little dream sickles. I thought this was adorable. It's got the little wind chimes. Um, and there's two of those and then some other ones in here. And again, it was a bundle deal, so I... Uh, did not pay the price as you see this one has a little um snow globe so yeah guys that is it that was today's haul pretty pretty good i got a lot of good stuff so we'll see how it goes i spent 128 dollars and i think i said 75 cents at the beginning of the video so not too shabby oh i also got this little crayon thing i sat stuff to the side here and forgot and this bedtime Bible. So I think, I think that's it. Yeah, I put everything back into the bags. So I, this bag's empty. Yep, that's everything. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Picked up this Ronkenbach. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this or not, but they are super, super cool. It's got the little railroad crossing thing, and then it has this. It's missing the charger, so I don't know if it works, but I got it for $3. This train alone, I see solds for in the $30 range, so without the track. So I'm definitely gonna figure out how I'm gonna get this listed. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.